Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about both Hot Wheels games on the GameCube. Hot Wheels Velocity X is a great racing game. As for game modes you get Adventure, which is a 14 mission long story, the plot isn't something like usually in racing games, but it's still nice to get one. The gameplay on the other hand is unique. You don't just race and battle. The story has unique missions. You have to plant bombs or destroy targets on the road and you have all sorts of power-ups for that. Also by playing the story mode you unlock more cars and unlock all 6 tracks. It's not great to have only 6 tracks, I know, but at least the car number is nice. You get 45 cars in the game. Some you get by default, others you get from finishing the story, others from finishing challenges in the challenge mode others from finishing the joyride mode and some if you have the Game Boy and some if you have the Game Boy with the Game Boy version of the game. Joyride is the game's free roam. You can unlock cars in free roam by collecting 10 gears or finding a secret key. Also aside of the race modes, the game also has a battle mode. And even if there are only 6 tracks, the tracks are nicely done. They have ramps and places to drive on the walls. Sure, there are some level designs that aren't as good. But as a whole, the game is good. Hot Wheels World Race is a tie-in game to Hot Wheels The Movie World Race. And I have to say that the game is pretty good. Both as a tie-in game and as a standalone game. It loosely covers the plot moments from the movie in one or two cutscenes. And the gameplay is okay. As for game modes, you get a challenge mode, which is like a tutorial mode, a single player that has three modes, quick race, time trial and league. League is like the story mode. Content wise, it has 15 tracks and 35 cars. Cars don't have different sounds, stats don't matter in the game because no matter the stat, the car behaves the same anyway. The game has a power slide button but I never got used to it, maybe it's my fault, but with the other mechanics I got along just fine. Jumping and flipping the car in the air and doing tricks and driving on walls is cool. Also I like the visual diversity of the tracks. Tracks are long and have a lot of gimmicks in them like shortcuts, ramps and all sorts of special quirks. I like it. Even the short tracks in the game still pack some decent amount of detail in them. Overall the game is a racing game that slightly manages to be unique and somehow one of its kind. For a time game, this is a great achievement. You can feel that the game isn't just a cash grab, it tries to be innovative. It still has to improve in some aspects, but as a whole I found it to be an enjoyable experience. And this is valid for the other game too. They deserve in my opinion more recognition. They have their flaws but still are fun games to play, that try new stuff and succeed at doing that for the most part. Also it puts the Hot Wheels license to good use. You feel like playing rather with toy cars than with motorized cars, or at least that was my impression. For me, the two games are some good tie-in games that ignore the rule that tie-in games have to be bad, made on the rush and feel like cash grabs. These two games are far apart from that rule. They feel worked. They are good games that you should at least try. Sure, they have some flaws like a weird difficulty spike or lack of details like inaccurate stats or lack of engine sounds or other flaws, but still, they have solid frame rates, the gameplay formula is fun and having fun is what makes a game good in the end. I had fun. Other reviewers didn't, so I guess don't take my word for it. But I consider them good games, that you should definitely at least try. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.